so annoying. <laughs> It'd be really nice to like record in here. I don't really like messing up, but like if I mess up, it, it is what it is, so. But I think you can only learn from messing up, so you only get better from doing things that push you out of your comfort zone. I think I would say that I am, I don't know, that's really hard. <laughs> that's a really hard question. I think I'm creative. I guess I could throw some words, I'm creative. I like a challenge, so I like being pushed out of my comfort zone and I like doing things that challenge my creative mind. I think I'm optimistic. Why did I get into music? I think definitely from my youth being so involved in dancing, I had a really strong connection to music. Through dancing you can emote so much, but through singing you can really emote so much more. You're shooting so I see a vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive We're like diamonds in the sky At first sight, I felt the energy of some ways if, if, I didn't, if music didn't exist, I feel like the world would be very grayscale Because music is with me everywhere it's, it's with me in the shower, it's when I train in the gym I started at The Voice at the very beginning of my singing journey So I started when I was eight um, and I, I wasn't a massive fan of it at first because I was really shy when I was younger. I didn't talk to anyone at all. I, I didn't want to talk to anyone. I hated performing in front of people. Even but definitely after starting at The Voice, it really helped me create this different side of me that was a lot more confident. And it not only helped with my singing and my musicality, but it helped with my you know, my confidence boosting and my ability to talk to people and just everyday things that if I didn't have singing, I still would be the same kid. <laughs> so I started with Luke, Luke Pickler, and then I had Bess after he left. And then somewhere along the way, I had, I had Kimmy, I had Jackie, I had Mel. And then, I think I even had Natalie for a little bit, and then I had Tracy, and I've been with Tracy probably for the longest time now. Yeah, I think they've all brought a little bit of something. I think Luke was very special because he was obviously my first teacher, and I think he really made a really big impact on that first little step of confidence boosting, because I went from this child who cried through their, like the whole first performance, and then within a year that I had him for, had you know developed into this, kid who who didn't mind performing in front of people wasn't crying anymore so what I'm glad that I know now that I would tell someone else is that just to to be patient because I think a lot of people see you know like people in the industry and they're like oh I want to be that right now but people have to realize that it's a really very slow progression of things um, and to really just enjoy it for what it is and go with the flow because things aren't structured in the industry you know something might pop up here or pop up there and then it might be quiet for a bit so you really just got to kind of ride the wave and just see what happens well through my journey i started busking so i went down to rock paper scissors on the strand and i used to i bought a um a little pa system it wasn't it wasn't too crash hot but it, it did the job um and i actually think that's a really good way to start getting used to gigging, getting used to singing for long periods of time, getting used My to- My best moment busking. Oh, that was a long time ago now, I have to see if I can remember. Probably the first gig I was ever asked to do, I was just busking at a rock, paper, scissors and I got, this lady came up to me with a little note on a napkin from rock, paper, scissors and she was like, 40th question mark. <laughs> come like sing for my 40th and I was like oh my gosh this is my first gig the first one ever so I was so excited it was really strange when I had the first my first gig at the heritage was in like a, a, a nightclub and I was 16 it was it was very strange <laughs> it was weird 
Well, my mum kept me safe most of the time. <laughs> she always comes to all my gigs still, even, even now I'm 18, she still comes to all my gigs. And I guess she was, she was like my roadie, my security, my everything. And so she, um, she was always on the lookout, but nothing, nothing bad has really happened, which I'm very lucky for. Um, but I also have heaps of family and friends that, that come along and I have regulars now that come to my gigs all the time and some of them are always on the lookout for anything. So yeah, got a good little gang, <laughs> good little following. <laughs> it's been really good. Mum and I have become really, really close. Um, she's, she's always been there for me from, you know, my early dancing days, helping me put me through Stedfords, putting me through like dance classes and giving me the best opportunities. It's been really good learning with Tracy. Tracy is just spectacular. And I think the fact that she has also been through the same career path, so she went through the gigging life, that we find a lot of like similarities and I can learn from her experiences and we can share our experiences. So she's very knowledgeable and I feel like I've been able to learn a great deal of really valuable knowledge from her especially to do with the industry and her qualifications through vocal pedagogy that she did um, at the conservatorium was so in-depth and has been really like nice of her to share all of her you know learnings and understand the the technicalities of all the muscles and everything and have a deeper understanding so I really think that Tracy has done done a lot for my development thanks Tracy <laughs> I think the voice singing school is probably one of the greatest organizations slash businesses in Townsville, especially for children and like the younger generation. Um, the, the voice has always had this sense of security and family that Tracy has been able to continue throughout time, no matter who's teaching, who's there, she has been able to maintain this, this really tight knit sense of family which is she's done a really good job and I think the teachers are doing a great job and all the kids at the showcases are awesome and they're all having a good time and there's so much support for each other and love for each other and I think it's just amazing. So from here I guess my progression in my career would be working full-time in the music industry. Yeah I just had to think of a song. Come along, my lonely days are over. And love is like a song. Oh, yeah, yeah. At last, the sky. wrapped up in clovers the night I looked at you I found a dream that I could speak to a dream that I can call my own I found a thrill to press my cheek to, a thread that I have never known. Oh, yeah. When you smile, you smile, oh, and then the spare was cast, and here we are in heaven <laughs> for you 